All right, I was having a little bit of a uh, rat and mouse problem down in the barn when I uh, had some of my feed and seed stored down here. And so I uh, got a couple store-bought traps, wasn't catching anything in there. And then I saw this uh, uh, hack, most notably I think Sean Woods on YouTube does these. And uh, so I decided I would make a rat trap out of a five gallon bucket and see if that would work better than the store-bought traps. Well, I've caught uh, four so far and my wife and stepdaughter were down cleaning the barn out so that we could uh, fix her up a, a room in the house at all. And all of a sudden there's these expletive deletives and things that I can't mention on thing coming from the barn. I come down here and lo and behold, I've caught another rat in this thing. So the uh, store-bought trap is zero and the uh, five gallon bucket here with a little spindle on there has caught five so I'm gonna dispose of this rat don't want to show that on the uh, YouTube channel you could imagine for yourself but anyway I promised my aunt that I would show her how I built this thing so let me take this out show you what I did and we'll go from there all right let's clean this up all right, I promised my aunt over in Alabama that I would uh, show her how I did this trap. There are a lot of other videos out on the uh, YouTube that go into a lot more detail, show you drilling with a drill and all that. I'm just gonna tell you what I did, and if you're uh, even remotely handy with tools, a drill motor, and maybe a, a cutoff wheel or a hacksaw is all you need. Uh, you can go ahead and make one of these uh, traps as well. What I did is I took a uh, five gallon bucket. You know, this one came from a local building supply store. Uh, you know, you can get them all over the place. And what I did, I took this five gallon bucket. I took a drill with a small drill bit and I drilled a very small hole right here. You're not gonna be able to see it from way over there, trust me. I just took a drill motor and a small bit, drilled a hole in here. I took a wire, la 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 la, off of a coat hanger. That's all that is. The bottom part of a coat hanger. And I uh, cut this wire so that it would stick out both sides so it's wider than the bucket. And then I had this old tripod that got stuck. I took a cutoff wheel and this part would not would not go back down into it. I've had it a number of years. So I just took a cutoff wheel and I cut this tube out off of there. Just uh, scrap that. I've seen people on the internet do it with uh, two aluminum drink cans, just any any round tube that you have. You probably don't want to use um, conduit and things like that. It's going to be too heavy. So you, you want it to be fairly light. This is made out of aluminum, so it is extremely light. And then what you're going to do is in that, that hole that I drilled on the side of the bucket, I'm just going to run this coat hanger through there. I'm going to run it through the center of that tube and then I drilled a corresponding hole on the opposite side of the bucket and I just slide the coat hanger right through there. So now I have this tube on there that will spin around. I then uh, put a little dab of peanut butter, bring this up a little closer so you can see it. There's the coat hanger the tube that spins on it and a little dab of peanut butter in there now if you want to go ahead and permanently dispose of the of the rat or the mouse you can fill this bucket part of the way up with water uh, and uh, you know, they'll swim for a few minutes but that's about it uh, or you can leave it dry down there if you want to relocate them it's, it's up to you whatever your beliefs and philosophy are on that then what you're going to do is uh, I took it down to the barn and I give it a little ramp for them to climb up on. You know, this is cut, 45 degree angle. I wedge that up against something on the barn and then I put that up against the bucket. And uh, what the mice will do, they'll crawl up this, they'll walk out onto here to get to the peanut butter. And when they do, that, that tube is going to rotate around on the... Uh, coat hanger there and dumps them down the water. So 
you know, they're very good at balancing and hanging on to stuff. So you want something that's fairly slick, but that's all there is to it. And like I said, so far, my store-bought rat trap, zero. My homemade rat trap out of a five gallon bucket and a coat hanger, five. <laughs> so it's five to zero. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is for my aunt and uncle over in Alabama. Uh, she said they had a little bit of a rat problem. That's all you gotta do. All right, quick video down and dirty. And I'll see all of you turkeys on the next video.